Good morning. My name is Jean Damour Hadjengimana. I'm one of trainer in automotive transmission in Reset TVT, TVT School. So today we are going to continue for learning our module which is called Perform Pneumatic System Maintenance. Module name. Module name is perform pneumatic system maintenance maintenance. So as we have seen, this module it has a competence which is called maintain competencies competence is maintain is to maintain maintain pneumatic system pneumatic system is to maintain pneumatic system so to identify pneumatic system in identification of pneumatic system, we have seen that you have some outcomes, learning outcomes. We have started with the property of pneumatic system, even if we have seen the description of pneumatic circuit. So, the reason for today is the learning outcome that you are going to, to learn it is learning outcome three, which is called the scribe. Describe pneumatic I draw I draw pneumatic pneumatic circuit I draw pneumatic circuit. Uh, the lesson that you are going to learn today it is description of pneumatic circuit. In the beginning. In those the pneumatic circuit, we have seen that the black system one, black, black system, system one was it, is, it was single circuit power assisted black system with mechanical parking brake, but with low pressure. It was single circuit. Single circuit power assisted assisted compressed compressed air black system air black system low pressure yes low pressure Low pressure with mechanical with mechanical parking parking black. So this circuit have seen that it was the circuit one or black system one. We have seen some pneumatic component which will which will help us to maintain a black system on the heavy vehicles, but those heavy vehicles, commercial vehicles, with light, lightweight vehicles. I think that, do you remember that? But, and also we have seen, and also we have seen black system, black system two, which, is, which was called, it was DO, it was DO circuit, it was DO circuit. Power assisted, assisted, compressed, compressed air, black system, black system. It was also low pressure, 
because it used the pressure which is below 80 bars. Do you remember that? Low pressure also with mechanical mechanical parking 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 black mechanical parking black so i think that do you know how to differentiate do you remember how to differentiate the circuit one this is the black system which is one which is called single circuit power assisted black system with mechanical parking black low pressure with this one black system two which is dual circuit power assisted compressed air black system low pressure with mechanical parking black so <coughs> comparing with their component even if even if the vehicle which is those circuit are some somehow different comparing with their size so here we have seen that this one will found to use one compressed air one compressed air air reserver it uses also a monitoring switch while here we are using two compressed air black air reserver but during for indict, uh, showing the pressure which are being used in the system here we use monitoring switch while on black system two we use low pressure indicator i think that you remember that so today today so i would like to remind, to remind you what you have seen in this in this session before but today we have another another new session which is which is a black system black system black system three mm -hmm. a new system is Black system three. System three, which is called it is Dio circuit. Dio circuit. Dio circuit. Power compressed. Compressed air. Power black system system low pressure low pressure but with no linkage with no linkage parking parking black so as we have seen for the black system one and black system two we have seen that it will use mechanical parking black but now we are starting to see some circuit or some vehicles which will be which will use no linkage parking pneumatic parking black so at the end of this session i would like that every learners will be able to to draw a schematic diagram to draw a schematic diagram of this circuit every student will be able to draw this schematic diagram even if every learners will be able to explain or to understand the function of any component composing this this circuit this circuit three so for starting for well understanding, let us, for, uh, first of all, try, let us first of all, to try to draw this, this black system three, in order to understand every component which will help us to understand, to understand the black system three, which is called the DO circuit power as black system with um, no linkage parking black so as we have seen in pneumatic circuit we must have the source the source of energy which will be used in a pneumatic system means that we must have we must have air we must have air compressor air compressor this air compressor do you remember that it is high for uh, for sucking sucking 
the area which will be used in pneumatic circuit and pressurize that in order to have a high pressure for breaking the, the vehicle. So we, might, we have air compressor, we have zero intake, have two outlet ports. So here you must have pressure, you must have pressure regulator. So pressure regulator. This pressure regulator, do you remember that in the previous circuit, have seen that it has the function of regulating, regulating the pressure in pneumatic system. Uh, it will allow the pressure, the, the pressure of pneumatic to continue to the other component, or it will allow to the pressure of air to go to atmosphere because it will operate in cutting pressure. Do you remember? And the cut of pressure. If you say cutting pressure, it is when the pressure regulator allow the compressed the air to continue to be stored in the air reservoir. But whenever air reservoir has been full of, it will allow the, it will not allow the pre compressed the air to continue to the air reservoir. It will open this port to continue the air to the, to the atmosphere. So after that, here because this is the circuit, I remind you that we are in black system, it's really totally different with the others because here you must have, must have antifreeze, you must have antifreeze pump, antifreeze pump. This antifreeze pump, this antifreeze pump, it has the function of injecting the antifreeze in pneumatic component in order to prevent the condensation order in the pneumatic circuit. So, you have, have antifreeze pump. Then after, we will continue our circuit. We will continue our circuit. So, here we must have, as we have seen, we must have a four circuit safety valve instead of dual circuit safety valve for the black system too. So here we must have a four, a four circuit, must have a four circuit safety valve with the air reservoirs. The, those are the graphic symbols. So uh, air reservoir must have uh, a draining valve, yes. This is a draining valve. This draining valve it is, it has the function of removing the condensation water in the air reservoir. Do you know that whenever we have uh, a pressurized air in the air reservoir, sometimes because of the, uh, the uh, variation of temperature, sometimes they will be condensate. They will be condensated. So this draining valve it has the function of removing the, those condensation water in the air reservoir. So, we have also another, another air reservoir. You must have also another air reservoir because this black system three has free, free air reservoir, which will help us to store. Air reservoir has the function of, has the function of storing the compressed, the, the compressed the air. So this is also draining valve because every air reservoir must have the draining valve, which will, which will help us to remove the condensation water in, it, in the tanks. So, we have another port. Must have another, another air reservoir. Another air reservoir, which has also, which has also a draining valve, as you have seen, it is a function of removing the condensation water. So, we have another port also, which will use to supply to the secondary loads. Whenever you want to take some compressed air, you will use this port for accumulating that, that does, that does the pressure. So, this one, for circuit safety valve, for circuit safety valve, has a function of distributing, distributing the compressed air to the different 
circuit or the, the, the different tanks, and also it will con contain to, to will prevent whenever one one circuit has been fairly failed, this four circuit surface valve it will allow to operate if there is an, a, a link in one in one one circuit. So here, here I might have to port 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. As you have seen, those are the number of ports that you have. The, uh, do you remember the classification of brake system according to the purpose? 21 and 22, it will help us to, to supply the air in, in surface. If, say, classification of brake system according to the purpose, we have uh, service brake system. Service brake system, do you remember that? Service brake system has the function of uh, stopping the vehicle or to keep the vehicle. Uh, the speed of vehicle constant whenever the drive is inside of the inside of the vehicle. So this 21 and 20, 21 and 22, it will supply the compressed the air in the service brake service brake valve. Yes, it will supply the. They, with the compressed air in service, service black system. So, this one also must have, we must have also the tandem master cylinder. Tandem master cylinder, do you remember that? This circuit, where the circuit is three, where we are still on learning outcome three, which is called description of a hydro pneumatic system. Meaning that we have a pneumatic. And also we have hydraulic in the system, meaning that the pneumatic we pilot the hydraulic in order to break the, the vehicle. That's the reason why we have, the, that's why we must have tandem, tandem master cylinder. Tandem master cylinder means that here they will be containing some hydraulic, hydraulic, hydraulic oil. So this one. We have also another device, which is new comparing with the devices that we have seen in Black System 1 and Black System 2. This one, it is new comparing with the others. You must have a load, a load, a load, load sensing valve. This load sensing valve has the function of, has the function of uh, accelerate, accelerate the air while the vehicle has it, depending on the load, the load of the the load of the vehicle. So, whenever the load is, uh, it, you have a high load, it will accelerate the, it will accelerate the pressure for well braking for well the braking the vehicle. So, after after this load sensing valve, we must have the Leo the Leo wheelie. The rear wheel cylinders, rear wheel, rear wheel cylinders, must have a rear wheel cylinders. These rear wheel cylinders, do you remember that for the vehicle, we still have, do you remember, uh, we have that, this black system, it is a dual circuit, compressed dual power black system, with no linkage parking brake. Meaning that we, are, we don't have mechanical parking brake. That's the reason why we must have no linkage. We must have no linkage. No linkage parking brake. Those are complex cylinders. Spring. Spring brake cylinders. Those are spring brake cylinders. Spring, spring brake cylinders. Those spring, spring brake cylinders has the function of converting the potential energy, which has the potential energy which we by we those springs into the mechanical, mechanical energy during braking. So here it is where the parking brake really act is its function. That's the reason why we must have array. 
a relay valve. You must have a relay, relay valve. This relay valve, it will help us during admission, admission of air and removal of air in the spring brake cylinders, yes? So, and control and control, have one, have two, and have four, it will control parking, it will control the parking, the parking, parking brake valve. Yes? So, this parking brake valve, it will get the, it will get the compressed air found from, from the air reservoir to, air reservoir from the potty, pot four. So, that is the reason why this circuit, that is the reason why this circuit, it is a dual circuit compressed air brake system with no linkage pneumatic parking brake. So, the parking brake valve, it, will, it, is, it is a control. It is therefore controlling the parking brake, parking brake system. So, here also in the front, in the front, in the front, you must have also the wheel cylinders, yes. Must have also the wheel, the wheel cylinders. Wheel cylinders. Mm -hmm. Wheel cylinders. So those wheel cylinders will help us for breaking a vehicle, for breaking a vehicle in service, in a service brake system. We have seen that a service brake system, a service brake system has the function of stopping the vehicle, even if keep the speed of the vehicle constant, but whenever the driver is inside of, whenever the driver is inside of the, is inside of the vehicle. So, this circuit, it will, it is a graphic, it is a graphic schematic diagram, which is therefore helping those heavy vehicles, those, those heavy vehicles with gross weight breaking. So, as we have seen, this one, I will say that, this one, I have said that it is air compressor, air compressor, air compre, compressor, yes, I've seen that, that is air compressor, I've seen that this is pressure regulator, pressure regulator, I've seen that this one is antifreeze pump, antifreeze pump, this one, this one is T4 circuit surfeit surfeit valve for circuit surfeit valve. Yes, as you have seen, I've seen that this one is the drain drain valve valve. Those are air reserve air reserve air reserve even if drain valve drain valve yes also drain valve drain valve air reserve also air reserve air reserve yes so you have this one is tandem Tandem master cylinder. Tandem master master cylinder. Tandem master cylinder. We have also load sensing. Load sensing valve. Load sensing valve. We have parking. Parking black valve. Parking black valve. We have spring brake. Spring. 
black cylinders, spring black cylinders. You have relay valve, you have relay, a relay valve. Relay valve. We have wheel cylinders. Wheel cylinders. Wheel cylinders. Even if those are the wheel cylinders. Wheel cylinders. So, for well understanding this schematic diagram, we must remember the classification of a brake system. So, you have seen that we classify the vehicle, the, the brake system, according to the purpose. If you say the classification of brake system according to the purpose, meaning that you have service brake system, service brake system, that service brake system, it is where the vehicle will be stopped or the speed of vehicle, uh, they keep the, sp the speed of vehicle constant, but whenever the driver is inside the vehicle. So, in the classification of brake system according to the purpose, you have also, we have also parking brake system. That parking brake system, parking brake system, it, it is where the vehicle will be stopped, or to the, it is a spot on the sloping roadway whenever the driver is outside of, outside the vehicles. So, for parking brake system here, it will be operated, it will be the, operated by, operated by this, parking brake valve to, keep the, to stop the vehicle on up, up, up here gradient whenever the driver is absent, the driver is absent. So we have also secondary brake system. We say, we say that we, the, the secondary brake system, whenever there is a problem in service brake system, if the service brake system fail, we, we will have a secondary brake system in order to, to stop the vehicle. Sometimes it will be used by, we use parking brake system for braking, for braking the, the vehicle. It is totally different with emergency brake. It is totally different with emergency, emergency brake. So you have also the classification of brake system uh, according to the number of connecting line in vehicle combination. Where we have single line, single line with those vehicle which has we, when we, which the, we have one line which will transmit the compressed air from tractor to the, to the trailer of the, of the vehicle. So, this circuit will help us to understand how the brake system will be done on, on those, on those uh, vehicles. So, for well understanding this brake system three, which is called the dual circuit compressed dual power brake system, low pressure with no leakage, pneumatic parking brake, we must understand. So you must understand the way it will be used. It will be used on those heavy vehicles which will carry the weight of between eight tons and 15, 15 tons. So the construction of this circuit, it has, this, it has some same characters with the construction of brake system one and brake system two. As I've seen, we have some uh, pneumatic groups which are always provided, like, always provided like service, service brake system because you know that every vehicle must have service brake system because we need to, to stop the vehicle or to reduce the speed of the vehicle whenever the driver is inside while in, in, in the, the road. The road way. So it has also the parking brake system and the secondary brake system. Those are, it is, if it is compressed air supply, service brake system, and parking brake system are always, are always provided on every, every vehicle. So, but there is another pneumatic groups which, are, which will be used if it is, if it is, if it, if, when it is needed. So, we are going to see the operating principle. We are going to see the operating principle of this circuit. The operating principle of this circuit, it is based on, it is based on the service brake, service brake system and secondary brake system 
so as parking brake system. We are going to see how it will be, it will be done. In the service brake system, do you know that for braking the vehicle, the driver it will need to, to push, to push the brake, the brake pedal. Here we have, we have the brake pedal. Whenever the, if you are, you, you, the driver push this brake pedal, the vehicle will be stopped. Do you know that? Here, we will use pneumatic and the, and the hydraulic. So, the air will be sucked by, the air will be sucked by air compressor. After being sucked, it will pressurize, it will pressurize the air to the, to the pressure regulator, to the pressure regulator. After, in the pressure regulator, I have told you that it will operate in two positions, cut in pressure and cut of pressure. So, if this means that here, from air compressor to the air reservoir, we are in compressed air supply. We are in compressed air supply. Means that you are supplying, we are generating the air which will be needed to, to break the vehicle. Air reservoir, air compressor, suck the air and pressurize it. Pressure regulate, it will regulate the pressure in the pneumatic system, yes. In cutting the pressure, so as cut off, so as cut off pressure. If you say cutting the pressure, I've told you that, it is when the pressure regulator allow the air to pass through it to, the, to be stored in the air reservoir. But whenever the air is, the air reservoir has been full of, it will cut, it will cut the pressure and allow it to go to the, to the, to the atmosphere. So, this antifreeze pump, this antifreeze pump, I've told you that it has the function of has the function of inject the antifreeze in a pneumatic circuit for preventing the condensation in the water. That is the function of this antifreeze pump. So, uh, four circuit surface valve, yes. This four circuit surface valve to use also one of the device which is included in a compressed air supply, yes. It dis distribute, distribute the pressurized air, distribute it and allow the other circuit to operate when there is a link of one, one of them. Yes? And you have also, we have also a reservoir which will help to store the pressurized air which has been generated by air compressor. Meaning that in operating the principle from air compressor up to, to the air reservoir, it is compressed the air supply. So, you are going to see how the secondary brake system, how the service brake system will be done. The, the, uh, the service brake system will be done whenever the drive will act on the brake pedal. Meaning that if they push, if we push the, the brake pedal, it, it will allow. Meaning that it, this system, it will help the driver to use the, uh, it will help, it will boost, the, it will boost, has the function of boosting the driver forces to reboot the driver forces, and the air help to push the hydraulic which is contained in this, um, in this tandem master cylinder and go to the wheel, to the wheel cylinders. That is how service brake system will be done. That is how service brake system will be done. So, let us see how secondary brake system will be done in operating principle. Secondary brake system, I've, you told, I've told you that we say secondary brake system when there is a failure of surface brake system or a link of, a link of one of the circuit, a link of one of the circuit only in, the, in the, the system. So it will help us how we get a brake whenever there is a failure of, a failure of service brake system. So let us see, let us see how the parking brake system this load distancing valve, I have told you that it will be operate, it will be operate in a service brake system, yes, because those heavy vehicles sometimes it will carry the, a, high, a high weight. So this load distancing valve will act in order to increase, accelerate the pressure, the pressure of hydraulic, in order to, to break the vehicle when the, there is a variation of load of the vehicle. So that is where the surface brake system will, uh, will act. So for low parking brake system, 
Do you know that every parking brake system, do you remember that it, it acts on the, on the rear wheel? Here, here we have those spring, spring brake cylinders, spring brake, spring brake cylinders, where in parking brake system, it will be done by using this relay valve and this parking brake parking brake valve. So, if you say relay valve, I have told you that this relay valve has the function of uh, to help in admission of air and removal of air in spring brake cylinders. This relay valve, it will operate in a driving position and a braking position. Meaning that sometimes it will allow, I've seen that here you have one and 24. It will connect it to the four circuit circuit valve from 24 port to one during driving position. Driving position means that sometimes it will allow the air passing through it or it will, it will cut the pressure from the, from the spring brake cylinders to the parking, to the parking brake, to the parking brake valve. So parking brake valve is like service brake valve because all of them are the control, are the control in pneumatic system because sometimes sometime all of them have the function of, if you say service brake system, it controls the service brake valve. If you say service brake valve, it will operate in a service brake system in order to stop the vehicle, to keep the speed of the vehicle, to reduce the, the speed of the vehicle, or to keep that speed constant. But by, a, by action of by action of the driver means that when the driver is inside. But whenever the driver the driver is going outside of the vehicle, it will need to use this this parking brake valve during stopping the vehicle on uphill gradient or on sloping roadway. But when the driver is when the driver is absent, so I think that. In the beginning, I've told you that uh, at the end of this session, every learner will be able to, see, to scheme or to draw this schematic diagram of pneumatic system. So I think that every student has been well understanding how, how to draw this circuit. Even if I've told you that, I've told you that you will, you will be able to understand. You will be able to understand. So. I think that every student learner is well understanding the functions, the name, the functions of those, those, those components. So, after this session, next time we will see also one of the schematic diagram, means that the black system four, which will be called, it will be called dual circuit power black system with, it will be with high pressure, even if we know with no linkage parking brake. So, our session is over today, but you have to keep, to keep on for revising, revising, scheming this schematic diagram, even if for well understanding those functions of who? pneumatic, pneumatic component. So, thank you for your kind attention. Okay, as a student from level five, do you see this circuit that, that you have seen before? Let us try to compare with that equipment group with these devices you have here. So, in equipment group, as you have seen, I've seen that there are some, some groups which are always provided, like compressed air supply, service brake system, so as uh, parking brake system. So, in compressed air supply, I have told you that the, while you are using that kind of schematic diagram of black system three, I've told you about compressed air. So here, these devices that you are lo looking here, it is air compressor. So I've told you that the function of air compressor, it is to suck the air and pressurize, and pressurize, pressurize that kind of air. So this air compressor you have, it has some Comp some component that you have seen, you have tank, you have motor, you have, a, have also regulator. 
So let us see how the operating principle of this air compressor. So for well understanding, let us try to remove this cover. Let us try to remove this cover. So in order to understand some component, how air compressor will suck, will suck the air and how it will store it. So this is This is the cover, yes. So, the cover, this, this tube, it is where the air which has been sucked will pass through in order to be stored in the air, air reservoir. So here we have some devices which are, which are inside. Let us try to see those devices. Cover, remove the cover. By using the RN key. So here you have some devices. This is the cover. This is where the air will pass through during admission of air in the air reservoir and it will pass here in the inlet port and be sucked and in the, in the chamber of the chamber of cylinder. So here we have a crankshaft with the piston, the piston here and connecting load. When the piston move up to down, downward, it will suck the air to the, to the atmosphere to the atmosphere and store it inside of inside of cylinder like this and then if the, it move up it will pressurize the air passing through the outlet port outlet port and pass through this this tube and being stored being stored in, inside of inside of air reservoir so here you have pressure regulator, as I have told you. This pressure regulator in pneumatic system has the function, has the function of regulating the pressure during cutting pressure, so as a cut of pressure, in order to protect the pneumatic component against bursting or, or against over, against over pressure. This is the pressure George, which will help us to, which will help us to measure the amount of air which has been or the the pressure which we have inside of inside of air air reservoir. So here, after being, after being, uh, uh, after being stored, this motor, it has the armature so as the winding inside. That's the reason why sometimes it will need to be connected to electric, uh, electrical for where getting the rotation, the rotation of the motor in order to make a, a make a moving of piston you have inside of inside of way up because that piston it will need to move down up in order to pressurize the air or to suck the air which will be it need to be used in a pneumatic circuit so after that i have connect we connect our air compressor air compressor so this air compressor i have told you that you have motor you have pressure regulator and the tube which will help us to uh, to pass the, the way of air which we pass through inside of um, air reservoir. So, have the pressure. So, if you want to turn on, you will pull, pull up, this, pull, pull up, for where? Yes. So, have totally do that. Those air reservoir must have, must have the draining valve, the draining valve here, which will be used to remove, to remove the will be used to remove the condensation water here. So how to pull for removing the, removing the condensation water while there is water which has been stored inside of air, air compressor. So uh, do you see that some devices you have here will be able to, to use in pneumatic circuit because this air reservoir, it is one devices which will be in a, a compressor their supply component. So 
other devices that you are, you are not looking here are those which will help us to on in service brake system so as parking brake system because it will be using the, the vehicle for braking the vehicle but here you have the devices which will help us to accumulate or to generate the compressed air which will be used in a pneumatic in a pneumatic circuit so after that you will need to to install the devices which has been removed this one is this one is a gasket yes this is a gasket so you have here these those valves those valves and putting the cover Yes, and then tight with their bolts. Well, you will see that the motion of our piston will will always available, and then have to connect the output from air compressed air motor to the air reserve. So do you see that here we are able to generate that compressed air which will be need to be used in a pneumatic in pneumatic circuit. So um, Think that any student who has a question will he be able to ask me the questions by using my contact number 07889331337. I repeat, it is 07889331137. So, thank you for your kind. You are kind of attention.